where we left off in the last video, we were just kind of staring amazed at this Earth's view of the Milky Way galaxy, just making sure we understood how enormous and how many stars we were looking at. And even this, even if each of these dots were a star, this is a huge amount of stars. But a lot of these dots are thousands of stars. Are thousands of stars. So, so this, you know, our, our mind was already blown. But what we're going to see in this video is that, that in, in some ways, this is kind of just the beginning. And, and to some degree, I'm going to stop doing these these particles of sand in a football field analogy because it's at some point the particles of sand become so vast that our our minds can't even grasp it to begin with. But let's just start with our Milky Way. And we saw in the last video. The Milky Way right here. We're sitting here about 25,000 light years from the center. It's roughly 100,000 light years in diameter. And then let's put it in perspective of its local neighborhood. So let's look at the local group. And when we talk about local group, we're talking about the local group of galaxies. Of galaxies. So this right here is the Milky Way's local group. That's us right there. Sitting right over here, about 25,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way, you have some of these small, and I use the word, I use small in quotation marks because these are also vast entities, also unimaginable entities. But we have these satellite galaxies around, under the gravitational influence, some of them of the Milky Way. But the nearest large galaxy to us is Andromeda, right over here, and this distance right over here. And now we're going to start talking about the millions of light years. So this distance right here is 2.5 million, 2.5 million light years. And just as a bit of a, a reference, if that's any reference at all, one light year is roughly is roughly the radius of the Oort cloud. And the Oort cloud was, or another way to think about it. it the Oort cloud, or one radius of the Oort cloud, is about 50 or 60,000 atomic, uh, not atomic, astronomical units. And that's the distance from the Sun to the Earth. So you could view this as 2.5 million times 60,000 or so times the distance from the Sun to the Earth. So this is an unbelievably large distance we're talking about here. And that's to get to the next big galaxy over here. But even these things are huge things with many, I mean, just unfathomably many stars. But Andromeda in particular, you know, we, we said that the Milky Way has two, 200 to 400 billion stars. Andromeda, people believe, has on the order of 1 trillion. One trillion stars. So even, 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 I, you know, these, these just start to become numbers. It's hard to grasp. But we're not going to stop here. So in, in this over here, this this whole diagram right here, it's about four light years across. If you go from point to point, if you go from one side to the other side, this is about not not four light years. Sorry, this is four million light years. Four million, four million. Light years. Four light years is just the the distance from from us to Alpha uh, to to the Alpha Centauri. So that you know that was nothing. That would only take a that would only take a Voyager one uh, eighty thousand years to get. This is four million light years. So four million times the distance to the nearest star. But let's. let's but even this, even this is. I mean, I'm I'm starting to stumble on my words because there's really no words to describe it. Even this is small on a on an intergalactic scale because when you Zoom out more, you can see our local group. Our local group is right over here, is right over here. And this right over here is the Virgo supercluster. And each dot here is at least one galaxy, but it might be more than one galaxy. And this, and more than one galaxies, and the diameter here, the diameter here is 150 million. 150 million. 150 million light years, light years. So what we saw in the local group in the last diagram, the uh, the distance from the Milky Way to Andromeda, which was two and a half million light years, which which would be just a little dot, just like that. That would be the distance between the Milky Way and Andromeda. And now we're looking at the Virgo supercluster that ha that is 150 million light years. But we're not done yet. We can zoom out even more. We can zoom out even more. And over here. So you had your Virgo supercluster, 150 million light years was that last diagram. This diagram right over here, I want to keep both of them on the screen if I can. This diagram right here, 150 million light years across. That would fit right about, right about here on this diagram. 
So this is all of the superclusters that are near us. And once again, near has to be used very, very, very loosely. Here, this distance is about 150. This is about 150 million light years. A billion light years, a billion light years is 2, 3, 4, 5. A billion light years is about from here to there. So we're starting to talk on a fairly massive, I guess we've always been talking on a massive scale, but now it's an even more massive scale. But we're still not done, because this whole diagram, now these are you know, these dots that you're seeing now, I want to make it very clear. These aren't stars. These aren't even clusters of stars. These aren't even clusters of millions or even billions of stars. Each of these dots are clusters of galaxies, each of those galaxies having hundreds of billions to trillions of stars. So we're just on an unbelievably massive scale at this point. But we're still not done. We're still not done. This is roughly about a billion light years across. But right here is actually the best estimate of the visible universe. And in future videos, we're going to talk a lot more about what the visible universe means. So if you were to zoom out enough, this entire diagram right here, about a billion light years, would fit right over, would fit right, would fit just like that. So we're talking about a super, a super small, a super small amount of, of, of this part right here. And this is just the visible universe. I want to make it clear, this is not the entire universe. And we say it's the visible universe, because think about what's happening. When we t think about a, a point out here, and we're observing it. And that's, let's say, 13 billion light years away. Let's say that point 13 billion. We're going to talk more about this in future videos. 13 billion, 13 billion light years. Light years. And I, and I feel almost it's almost a sacrilege to be writing on this, because this complexity that we're seeing here is just mind boggling. But this 13 billion light year away object, what we're observing, we're, the, the light is just getting to us. This light left some point 13 billion light years ago. So what we're actually doing is observing that object close to the beginning of the actual universe. And the reason why it's the visible universe is there might have been something a little bit further out. Maybe its light hasn't reached us yet. Or maybe it, the universe itself, and we'll talk more about this, it's expanding so fast that the light will never, ever reach us. So there's, it's actually a huge question mark. It's actually a huge question mark on how big the actual universe is. And then some people might say, well, does it even matter? Because this by itself is a huge, is a huge distance. And I want to make it clear. You might say, OK, if, if, this, if this light over here, if this is coming from 13 billion light years away, or if this is 13 billion light years away, then you could say, hey, so everything that we can observe, or that we can even observe the past of, the radius is about 26 billion light years. But even there, we have to be careful. Because remember, the universe is expanding. When this light was emitted, and I'll do a whole video on this, because the geometry of it is kind of hard to visualize. When this light was emitted, where we are in the Virgo supercluster inside of the Milky Way galaxy, where we are was much closer to that point. It was uh, on the order of it was on the order of, and I want to make sure I get this right. 36 million light years. So we were we were super close by, you know, I guess astronomical scales. We were super close only 36 million light years to this object when that light was released, but that light was coming to us and the whole time the universe expanding, so we were also moving away from it. If you just think about the all of the spaces, everything is expanding away from each other and only 13 billion years later did it finally catch up with us. But the whole time that that was happening, this object has also been moving this object has also been moving away from us. And so our best estimate of where this object is now, based on how space is expanding, is on the order of 40 or 45 billion light years away. We're just observing where that light was emitted 13 billion years ago. And I want to be very clear. What we're observing, this light is coming from something very, very, very primitive. That object. That object that or that that area of space that where that light was emitted from has now condensed in, into into way more uh, I guess mature astronomical structures. If you take it from the other point of view, people sitting where in this point of space now and they've now moved 46 billion light years out when they observe our region of space, they're not going to see us. They're not going to see Earth as it is now. They're going to see uh, the 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 region of space where Earth is. At a super primitive stage, shortly after the Big Bang. And when I use words like shortly, I, I use that also loosely. We're still talking about hundreds of thousands or even millions of years. So we'll talk more about that in a future video. But but the whole point of this video is, you know, I I, I almost 
it's beyond mind numbing. You know, I, I would say the last video about the Milky Way, that alone was mind numbing. But now we're in a reality where just the Milky Way becomes something that's um, almost unbelievably insignificant when you think about this picture right here. And, and the really mind numbing thing is if someone told me that this is the entire universe, this, this by itself would, would, uh, 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 would certainly put things in perspective, but it's unknown what's beyond it. Uh, there are some estimates that this might be only be 1 times 10 to the 23rd of the entire universe. And we could even, we'll talk, there, it, it might even be the reality that the entire universe is smaller than this. And that's an interesting thing to think about. But I'll leave you there, because I, I think no matter how you think about it, it's just, it's just uh, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I actually, before doing this video, I stared at some of these photos for like half an hour. This is my least productive day, just because it's, it's just so awe-inspiring to think about what these dots and dots of the dots really are.